at the time of Hibs Scottish Cup semi-final against Dundee United this season, we didn't know too much about debutant goalkeeper Conrad Logan. That changed. 16 months after his last senior game, he was an instant hero for Hibs with a series of superb saves, a couple of them in the penalty shootout. Conrad is from Donegal, like another couple of top keepers in Shea Given, and our debutant interviewer, Paddy Bonner. Conrad, for the fans who are watching today, some of them don't know Conrad Logan. Who's Conrad Logan? Um, well, I was born in Donegal and I came over to England, 15 year old, went to Leicester City um, and basically spent most of my career, 15 years at Leicester, um, until obviously I, I came up here a, a couple of months ago. Your dad was one of my heroes and he I played for Finn Harps, of course. Had he a big influence on your life? He did. Um, like ever since I could I walk, I was going to him with games. He was sort of at the end of his career at that time. I never got to see him probably in his in his best days when he was when he was playing there. Well, I seen him and he was a magnificent player. Yeah. Well, that was how I got into football. Was football mad from from that age, you know. Why goalkeeping? Well, because of yourself. Um, because of me or yeah, she? No. Well, it was you. <laughs> Obviously, your penalty save in, in 1990. I remember watching it in the in the sitting room. Timopte against Bonner. After that, I always wanted to dive like Packy Bonner for that penalty and get my leg up and everything. I was four years old and diving around. My mum was telling me to go mad because I'll break my arm or something. But um, that was it. And when you when you had the homecoming and, and the books came out and stuff like that, I used to. My dad took me to one of your signing sessions and did I sign it for you? You did. You did. Yeah, it was all good. I just remember you saying to me, "If you're half as good as your dad, you'll be all right." And I always remember that ever to this day. You were out for about 15 months with injury. Was there any doubt in your head that you would, wouldn't come back at that point? Um, I was always quite positive that I would. The surgeon was, was positive when he'd when he done the operation and with a tendon injury there's, there's no quick fix and it's just, you know, you have to let time heal it. And um, it, it was probably a year to the day when, when I had no pain in my leg and then I started to jog and that. And, you know, as I said, there was light then at the end of the tunnel then and thinking, you know, I, I can get back. Did you ever think that you'd be the hero in a semi-final at Hamlet? Not this soon. <laughs> um, look, I was I was just looking to, to maybe play a game this season if I could, because it's always difficult to try and find a club, you know, with six or seven games left. But, um, you know, it's just... When did you know you were playing? Um, a half an hour before we wow. went out for the warm-up, named the team, you know, and that was it for, for sure when I knew I was playing, so... I'm always going through your mind at that point. Do you know what? <sighs> I was I was probably as relaxed as I had been in any game throughout my career. I think when you've had an injury and you realise what you know, things that go on outside and that, and maybe just being a little bit older and everything, I just enjoyed it. Like I thought this is an unbelievable opportunity. Go out and enjoy it, and you know, just back yourself. And goalkeeping is about confidence, isn't it? And that first save set you up. It did. Big chance. Well, they've asked the question of Conrad Logan now early enough in the game to, to, to make a decent block and you know it just it went on from there. The guy was in an onside position there and he's forced it through here for Henry Anier, another good save. Still alive with Dow, but Conrad Logan has just received a standing ovation from the Hibernian supporters. It probably gives the defenders and people I haven't played with as well more confidence thinking that you know hopefully they can rely on you if, if, if they do get through. And the first William Hill Scottish Cup semi-final is going to a penalty shootout. When I came to the club I, I didn't quite um, realise how long it was since, since they won it and they, they said to me look if you play in the semi-final you could be, could be a hero. Well wouldn't you know it, the man of the moment does it again. Jason Cummings has the chance to put Hibernian into the final. Here he goes. It is glory, glory to the High Bees. I didn't realise, you know, what it really meant to the fans to laugh at the game and and the, you know the, the the tweets and things I've read in the paper and that you know about how much it really does mean to the fans. Who were you on the phone to in the middle of the pitch after that game? Yeah, I rang my father. I didn't have reception in the. Um, <laughs> I thought it was your agent. You were no, no. <laughs> no, he got the next phone call. Um, <laughs> no, I rang my father. Um, just to look, it, it, it had been a hard time being injured for for everyone, you know, and you know yourself. It's 
you need your family and friends to stick by you in, in that situation. Do you have enough tickets for them all coming over from Donegal for this final? We're all sorted, all ready. They'll, um, they'll all have their seats and that, so looking forward to it. Okay, the best of luck. Thank you.